we're not expected to have perfect spiritual eyesight. The Savior wants us to have a relationship with Him so that He can help us change the ways that we see things about His world, about His children, about His gospel. He wants to be the one to help us to gain that clarity and that vision. I noticed in my early youth that my eyesight really started to change and that I wasn't really able to see things as clearly as I used to. At first, I started to compensate for that change by making it normal. Instead of asking for help, reaching out for my glasses to, to help make my experiences every day a little better, I chose to live below what was an enjoyable set of circumstances so that I could fit in with my friends who had good eyesight that didn't need to wear spectacles and glasses every day. First getting my glasses was a remarkable difference in my experience, my daily experiences. Being able to get up in the morning and just being able to see everything around me with crispness and clarity was refreshing. My spiritual glasses helps me to navigate the things that relate to how I'm going to progress in life and in my relationship with the Savior. It helps me um, understand that I need to have regular communication with my Savior so that I receive constant guidance to help me navigate spiritual things um, throughout my day. The best way to see things the way that our Savior sees them is to reach out to our Savior and ask Him to change our sight to help us receive the experiences that we need to see other people clearly. When we seek to invite the Savior into our ministering to other people, we are able to allow Him to change our eyesight, our spiritual eyes, not just our physical eyes. The gospel is a gospel of try it out. You just have to try it out. If the scriptures promise you God's Spirit through prayer, then start by trying it out, saying a prayer to God and seeing what happens. Serve someone and see how you feel. You will, through your own experience, be converted to the truths of the gospel because you tried it out. When I choose to allow Him to guide my thoughts, guide my actions, guide my speech, guide my behaviors, I am happiest and I'm having a better experience not feeling lost and disoriented in this world. And I see more of the Savior in this world that He has provided for us to have beautiful, deep, rich, meaningful experience within that brings real enduring and everlasting joy.